Yeah, I, I don't know. Yes. I, I haven't I haven't looked closely, but there was that uh, battery powered power supply. The battery, uh, I guess, with a with a battery bank, they could be connected to it. Is that something you're going to pick up? That one? Yes. I, I one. really wanted. I really wanted one. Oh, you really wanted one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, th th there's only like three in existence. Um, this yeah. is one of them. Um, they it, it works. I can I can actually you know plug it in and that's a tear down. That's nice. inside it there. I have actually done a video showing yeah. inside it. I was going to do a, I, I still will do a video showing where this got to, but then yeah. I'm afraid that there'll be a whole bunch of people who will want it. And I don't, I've, I've, I've lost interest in it, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I've got a whole box of parts still sitting down here. I don't know. I, I don't think it would be successful. Like you, you would think yeah. it would look cute. Like, like you think it looks really groovy, and it does, right? It's, it's really, it's really cute. But I don't think there's a huge market for it, and it still needs work. Um, mm. it, the, um, it has to be fully characterized. Um, I think it needs a new, it's a new uh, transformer because that's a uh, planar PCB transformer. Yep, that's yep. actually a planar jobby, and um, yeah, it's not as good as it. It didn't turn out that well. And it needs to be redone, and and the so and the software in it's incredibly complex. Um, it's not something yeah. that I can pick up myself because it was written by the software was written by uh, David, too, who's yeah. now gone. And um, if you've seen the video of where we sat down just before he left, and um, we installed all the software just to write the code for this thing, and it's yeah. whoa, it's because he's a programmer's programmer. You know, yeah. this is a guy who writes um, his own game engines for fun. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. I don't remember. So it's yeah. like, so the software, and like me, if I was writing the software for this, it would have been dumbass, simple, plain vanilla C. It'd be boring as batshit. Um, but he really went to town on it. And because um, this actually does um, full, so it's got the full um, mm. Skippy command mm. set, and you can, you know, control it via um, the. The USB port, yeah. Via the USB C, and it's fully isolated. Of course, that's what the uh, transformer does. It's fully isolated from the USB and stuff. And yeah, I, I don't know. I I just lost interest in it. Um, it, it was yeah. too much work. It was too hard. You know. Yeah, one one of the things I, I yeah. thought it would be uh, I I liked to to be able to have those is to basically because of the remote control capability and you know plugging right. it from USB C you can plug it into anything you know you can pick up one of these power banks right and yep. then just have it have it and with you yeah, just have, have it with you yeah 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 but that also requires more work and once again I I would probably have to like it'd take me so long to get up to speed on the software yeah. side of things on it that. I, yeah, it's just, it's just not my thing. And, and everything in this is custom. And like, like the, the case is fully custom. The yeah. banana plugs, the terminal jacks, fully custom. Cause they actually, they actually were designed to just, um, like sit in, like they were designed to, uh, press fit in there. Uh, ah, you I can see. solder them as well. But yeah, so they're right angle like there's like a, a thing. Mm. Like this is all custom, right? Everything's custom. The heat sink's custom. I've done a video on that. Um yeah, the yeah, yeah. planar transformers custom. Um the uh keypad of course custom the L C D custom. So I've done a video on the keypad designing that. I've done a video on designing the L C D. Um I've done a video mm. on designing yeah, the heat sink. So that means it's uh, actually quite expensive. So that's the thing. Like, once again, there's a lot of effort. Don't even though it looks finished, there's a lot of design effort required to bring this to market properly and support. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. No, so, I, I get it. Yeah. 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 You know, it's hard. Like, I, I, I hate the fact that we never actually release this, but you know, mm. I, I just, just for the amount of I don't think it's going to be that popular given the price point. But but then again, have you seen that one? Um, it's is it the E Design who make the ES one hundred solder uh, the TS eighty soldering iron TS one hundred soldering mm -hmm. iron that that company that Chinese company they yeah. do a portable yeah. power supply. Yeah, I saw. Um, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, I, I saw the, the. I haven't looked yeah. at it and personally haven't bought one, but 
Uh, I've yeah, seen it it's, it's not yeah. isolated, though, I don't think. I don't think it's isolated. So, whereas this one's fully yeah. isolated. Yeah, That's yeah, one yeah. of the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know, one of the things that makes it expensive. Um, and it's not that great a power output. You can get five, five watts, 10 watts, 10, I think, is the maximum mm. power output. It's not much because mm. it's isolated. How much do you reckon you've spent on uh, How much do I reckon I've spent on this PSU so far? Um, wages, um, a lot. <laughs> An embarrassing amount because David worked on this um, full time for quite some time. So take, take a typical wage. I won't tell you how much I was paying him, of course. Um, but yeah, I couldn't tell you how many, how many hours I spent on it. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, unfortunately. And uh, well, it's that, you know, do you keep pouring money into it, right? How much do you keep pouring into it to get it finished? And, and once it's finished, then it's not finished. You've got to support it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, of course, you yeah, know, the, yeah, it, just like all your other yeah. products, yeah. Yep, yep. Like, you know, if, if I release this, people find bugs. Well, who's going to update the software, right? I don't know. Like, I can't just, you know, like throw it out there, sell it, and then tell people, well, it's open source software, go and fix it yourself, you know? Yeah. Because I don't have the skills, the software skills, to actually pick up this software. Like, I could learn, but, oh, man, like, mm -hmm. it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's something that I was following for a while. That's why I was asking. I, I kept checking your website yeah. to see if it's a product, but, yeah, I get it. I get it. No, I get unfortunately, it's no. Difficult. Everyone asks it. Every, everyone asks. Yeah. And, yeah, unfortunately. It works. It even says it hello. Works. Hello. <laughs> it says hello. <laughs> 12, 12 volts at now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, t that's, um, that indicates uh, 12 watts. So 12 volts at 800, um, yeah, whatever. But yeah, there we go. Switch it on. But I think, nice, I think it's, ma I think we were getting 10 watts out of it at one point, but it's not a huge, it's not a huge amount. The, the screen I really like, the actual custom screen, I'd love to reuse the custom screen for something like m maybe do a simpler mm. power supply project, but reuse the custom screen because I, I think it's like really nicely laid out. Like, like we actually put a lot of thought into this, you know, there, there's just set um voltage and current up the top and then what you're actually reading back um at the moment and there's other enunciators mm. constant voltage constant current and you know and it's a nice big legible display and it's it's really quite nice so i was i was thinking mm. maybe you know if i was gonna if i was gonna do this i wouldn't do it as the this portable thing anymore i don't think i'd sort of like want to reuse bench, right? the lcd yeah, yeah, like a little, like I love those slimline bench ones. Yeah. Like, have, have you seen those? They're really yeah, sexy. I don't have and any. you can put them I don't have here. side by side. Yeah, I, I don't have one, but I've seen them. And they're, no. I really like that form factor. And I think that would fit well in a form factor. You know, a slimline, you know, yeah, nice yeah. high power rack, uh, not rack, but a bench you know, slimline power mm. supply. So I think you know, that would be really this thing, groovy. This thing that I did, on my, I showed on my website a while ago. Uh, this thing I keep reaching for quite often just because of the fact this is a synthesizer. It's a six gigahertz uh, synthesizer and it has a little uh, LCD screen on it so you can, you can just power it from a battery. Uh, I don't have a battery here to do it now, but the, the nice thing about this one is that because it has this screen on it, it, it's just so convenient to pick up and use. Mm. But even an equivalent one exactly like this that doesn't have a display and it works exactly the same way. You just have to connect it to the computer and use a GUI is already much has much less utility because you got to you know, load up the software you have to have a laptop near it but i have done yeah a lot of yeah debugging yeah in it's the totally annoying yeah yeah it, it's, it's just that entry point to doing something quick that yep. is that these things i think solve um aside from that mm -hmm. yeah i mean if, if i want a real synthesizer that has a really really high performance you know, i'll just grab like yeah. the, you know an mxg you know from from keysight or some or something from road insurance I wouldn't necessarily use this, but the fact that you can just turn this on and just punch it in there, what the frequency you want, and it's it's there. Mm. That that's really nice. But the screen has to be there because without the screen, you're back to the same problem. You need enough things that you just walk to the synthesizer at that point. Yep. Well, the, yeah. The 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 thing with this is that the the concept was that it was supposed to be something that you could throw into your uh, bag. So you keep it in your yeah, laptop yeah. bag. That's why it's slim like that, and 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 that's why the um, binding posts come out the bottom, so they don't protrude yeah. out the front. You know, we we put a lot of thought into the form factor of this. It was designed to slide into a nice slim laptop bag, and you carry it around with you. But how many people actually need? 
to do that is like yeah sure yeah, sure I, I don't know it's like I, I i think you know if i did this as a uh kickstarter or something yeah i, right. I think a lot of people would back it but you know yeah I, yeah, I'm just da d doubting the actual usefulness of it. And that's why, like, we originally did it as a completely isolated thing because, well, that was novel, right? It, it had yeah, to be yeah, isolated. Yeah. You could use it from anything. But if you're using it from a battery pack, you're already isolated anyway. So you're so you're actually crippling the design of this thing. I see, yeah. For no reason, really, yeah. you know, so... Yeah. But that's going to be more yeah. popular than something like this still, right? I mean, more people need oh, a yeah. power no, that's, supply that's, than that. That's yeah. even more niche. Yeah, yeah more niche, yeah, yeah. 